has a lot more people coming today too. All right, I think. All right, welcome to the Toad Hall Morning Show. Good morning. Happy post RSD. <laughs> it's the first Tuesday after Record Store Day. It was just a few days ago, April 25th, 2023. Here we are. And uh, yeah, this is our post RSD show and our farewell show, sort of. Well, our semi hiatus farewell. Show. Our hiatus show. Yeah, hiatus show. That's <clears> better. Um, we haven't determined when we're coming back yet. We'll get more into that anyway. Yeah. Today we are talking all about Record Store Day. Of course, and that's got birthdays and days of the month and all that good stuff. Well, today is going to be a dis discussion about Record Store Day. What you guys thought, what you got, what you didn't. We're going to show off all the items we still have. I've got, of course, a special offer for all the viewers. Ooh, good Lots call. of fun. Lots Ray, of fun it, we're just going to take like a summer break because with vacations and everything, it's hard to, half the it's time, hard to do. one of us isn't going to be here on a Tuesday morning. Yeah. So So it's a hiatus show till oh. er, late summer, early fall. Oh, yeah. Derek and Ray. Hey, I heard you guys were friends now. Swapping records. Yeah, I That's love cool. it. That's awesome. Yeah, we had a fun... Oh, my God. Saturday was just insane. I Pat says to me about 2 o'clock, she says, have you eaten lunch yet? I'm like, no, I didn't even know lunch was here yet. I didn't realize it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> We didn't even open phone sales until <clears throat> eleven after eleven. Yeah, eleven fifteen. It was just we couldn't. We couldn't. There's just too many people. The line. Did Did you post a picture of the line that your band took? Yes, there's a video of the line on our social medias. It goes all the way to the end of the block. Longest line we've ever. It had. would have gone past the end of the block, but we were able to open up this uh, portion of the store and start allowing. Once we did their three picks, they were allowed to come in here. So it would have extended across. The side street. Probably would have over, wrapped around. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. I pulled up and I'm like, oh my gosh. I had to like take a detour just to figure out how to get in the alley to get a parking <laughs> spot. <laughs> yeah. Needless to say, it was the biggest day in total history. Best record store day we've ever had. First guy in line at 11 p.m. That's unbelievable. I've got his picture. I thought I shared it to our page, um, but I don't know if it went on there or not so i'm going to send it to nick and have him put it on the facebook page um he got the randy savage yeah second guy got the the lennon box. box yeah so those went fast as we knew they would the taylor swifts held up though they did the taylor swifts held up till 9 30 in the morning was it that mm -hmm. late yeah i don't know i, I was I mean, I it was still pretty anything. fast <laughs> yeah but. and we had 80 of them Next time I know to order more. Well, Justin, that I think that was going to... You know why I thought that was going to be the, the one first to go? Because we've had that CD once before um, last, last year. And I found out what that was running just for the CD. And I had um, Bruce, our eBay guy, put it up on eBay. And I think it was somewhere between $70 and $90 range for a CD. So I knew that album was going to yeah, be a be hot commodity. Yeah. Yeah. Ray says he's never seen a line like the one they had down there. He's down in uh, New Orleans. Yeah. RSC has been never been a big deal. Swifties and Savage fans. Yeah, Swifties. Um, <clears throat> Swifties are, uh, I mean, it was a really good thing. Yeah. It, it was a really good thing. It was a smart thing that RSD did and Taylor Swift helping out parent with Record Store Day. It got thousands of Taylor Swift fans to independent record stores for the first time. Right. So we had tons of them that had never been at our store. No, not at all. And it's always so cute because you can you walk up and they've all got the midnight sweatshirts on. Or yeah. they, you you knew which ones pretty much were the Swifties right away. Yep. Yeah. Then we had a repeat from last year that was in line for the 45. Yep. Yeah. And, and so that and was, that's fun to see that happen. The day after, the Sunday, I had a girl who got her Taylor Swift record the day prior. She goes... That was my first time coming in here, and she was talking about how she was nervous about going on the street on Rockford at yeah. 3 a.m. She was like a little nervous. She says, everyone online was super cool. She says, it was such a great experience. She came back the next day and shopped and bought more records. Wow. It was her second time in our store the next very next day. See? So, it was um, a big, it was a really good thing that happened. So, thank you, Taylor <clears throat> Swift, for um, yeah, introducing... Supporting 
supporting and introducing people to the vinyl community. Yeah. And uh, to independent record stores. It's yep. awesome. They've just got thousands of new people into the doors. And yep. that's really what this event is about. Is, right. You know, supporting record, local record stores. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I got, I still have about a hundred items. Okay. We had what, 330 Three, items? 325 to 330, <clears throat> somewhere right around there. We're, we still have, I think, around a hundred unique titles Do left. Uh, but before we get into all that. Yeah. Um, let's, you know the one lasted longer than I expected was the Larry Love scheme. That one didn't sell out until the afternoon. I know. I don't know if it's because people didn't know it was Mac Miller. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know it's either. a very interesting. Uh, I listened to a little bit of it. Yeah. On, it. on Spotify, it was interesting. Good. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to open mine and play it for a while. <laughs> I did. Yep. I picked one up. <clears throat> so should we hop into? There's a lot of what day is it day? There's a lot of good days today. National Hug a Plumber Day, man. Everybody, you know, ha, you just. really want to hug that plumber when you know you need that plumber, right? How about National Telephone Day? Can you imagine a world without a, without phones? Nope. We'd still be doing freaking telegrams. Um, let's see what else we have here. Ray says, sad day today, Hillary Belafonte. Passed. Oh, Harry, you just, or <clears throat> Ray, you just, uh, I can take that off my list now. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. 96 that. years old. Can you wow. believe that? Yeah. Um, so, License plates day, which is kind of a weird one, but interesting trivia is there were 15,000 vehicles in the whole United States when the first license plate was introduced. 15,000 in the, the whole country? The whole country. Isn't that insane? Was that 300 What year was state? that? It doesn't say. Mm -hmm. uh, I would imagine it would be the early 1900s. National Hairstylist Appreciation Day, you know, because I, I used to go to the hairstylist all the time. National Library Workers Day. It's always a library day on Tuesdays, isn't it? National Lingerie Day. Woo woo! I don't know how this camera moved. I don't know. Am I oh, not? I know why. It's a little, it's not tight. Oh, don't get sick, everybody. There we go. It's moving the camera. <laughs> National Manny Petty Day. That sounds good to me. School Bus Drivers Day. Man, they deserve a lot of a credit. An Al Pacino's birthday. There we go. So let's get down to um, some of the some of the birthdays. <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald, nineteen seventy, nineteen seventeen to nineteen ninety six. So it's her birthday today, April twenty fifth. Got a lot of big ones here today. Ella Albert Fitzgerald. King, which nineteen twenty three to nineteen ninety two. I saw that we had gotten the Albert King Born Under a Bad Sign we must back have sold in, out but it sold out again. I love that album. I picked it up at, on Record Store Day probably four years ago, uh -huh. and I just love it. And I see they're bringing it back out in, on a non-Record Store Day Finally. issue. Yeah, it's a great album. And how about if I butcher this next name? Bjorn Somebody from ha. ABBA. Why do we always get the ABBA birthdays? This is the second one. Oh, they... Oveus, Oveus, I don't know, but it's, it's Bjorn's birthday today. Um, <laughs> Taco Salad says, who comes up with these national days? I don't know. I guess it's the same people who come up with National Record Store Day. <laughs> it could be. I don't know, it's just everybody just piles in, but it's something fun. Yeah, it is. It's just something to talk about. I don't know about. if it's Donut Day yet, but I'd be down for that. Oh, we had enough Donut Saturday. Yeah, we had Donut we had Saturday. We had Donut Saturday. I'm good for a half a year. Yeah. Um, Stu Cook, bass player oh. for CCR. Okay. Um, uh, 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 uh. let me get down to this other one because I got to get his real name here. Hang on, I got to find it. Watermelon Slim. He was a blues <laughs> musician. Um, Donut Day is every day. <laughs> Derek William Dick, who goes by Fish, a Scottish vocalist from Marillion. That's well, oh, that's Harry from Marillion. <laughs> <laughs> and in honor of Harry, I went down and pulled. Belafonte. Gary Belafonte died just today at 96 years old. Dang. Um, 96. This is what, 40? This album is about like $32. Mm. I remember way back when, when my dad was still alive, 
he had some Harry Belafonte, and I asked him. He had the he converted it. He recorded it off his album onto a CD for me, and I'm like, I want it. It's all it's scratchy. I don't care. I want it though. So yeah. he he transferred it to one of the Harry's Belafonte albums onto CD for me. But there we go. Complete concert. What's on that? Concert. Oh, well, Harry Belafonte at Carnegie it's Hall. It's a track listing as I have. It's got, of course, it's got Cotton Fields, John Henry, Dayo, uh, Danny Boy, Come Back Liza, Mama <sighs> Look a Boo Boo, uh, Sylvie, The Marching Saints, Jamaican Farewell. Ray says he's listening to that record right now. <clears throat> Gatefold. Acoustic Sounds did make a really good pressing of this. 2 yes. 45 cut. Yes, they did. This is the Living Stereo, which is a better... They, they made this Living Stereo and non-Living Stereo. So if you're looking for a vintage one, you want the Living Stereo one. And we have it. We have it. We have a section of... Um, I think there was a section about this big downstairs of Harry Belafonte. So probably about 25, 30 LPs maybe of uh, vintage. I don't think we have any new. Did you sell out of most of your record store day stuff? We probably sold 80% of it. Um, we still have quite a bit left. And we're going to go over those titles. Although every day we keep selling more and more and more of it. We still have, I have two crates of releases behind me. So Yeah, so we're going to go over those. Today, we're going to go over right? those. And, well, I got a special offer for the viewers. But we'll get to that. I don't want to interrupt with that. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't even know what the special offer is today for our wonderful viewers. Yeah. Who have just made this morning show worthwhile over the the years? A couple of years, yeah. Yeah, I'm, have met so many people. Yeah, we've definitely have a people. community. Yeah, we've definitely have an online YouTube community now. People that know each other, and we know you, and um, that's been this has turned into something that's been a lot of fun. So we are not going away permanently. No, <clears throat> we we're just going got, on sabbatical. We're going on a summer vacation. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Yeah, there um, we go, summer vacation. It's a yeah. uh, morning show summer vacation. Gives us time to refresh. Probably, I don't know, maybe rebrand or something. And and uh, I know I'm going to be gone, and that's going to take some some time off. Uh, they got a lot of things going on around here. <clears throat> we come back heavier, bigger, and better than ever. Yep. So, uh, is that all you got? That's all I got. That's all you got. Okay, record store day. <laughs> yeah, what all did you get? Did you get all your picks? Uh, have you listened to any of your stuff yet? I haven't. I was Sunday. I just vegged all day long. Oh yeah. Uh, it's like Eddie B came over. He and Paul went upstairs, listened to music, and I yeah I went up there and chilled for a little bit. Oh, with you them. need to. I still need to veg. I vegged. Uh, looking for the Duran Duran. I'm pretty sure sold we out. sold out of that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and we will be, Nick said we're going to be updating inventory. So today, today, today we're updating our online inventory because some of the things behind me are not on the website. And then we're going to push um, them to eBay this afternoon. Question. <clears throat> Is there any, are there any leftovers we're getting that, that you know of? Um, we will probably order some leftovers. We have not. We have nothing ordered today. Have, have you gotten a list? I looked at the available? list, and there was some stuff like the Pearl Jams. Oh, okay. I'll probably order some Pearl Jams. That's a title we can sell all the time. But I think there was some Grateful Dead on there. <clears throat> um, there were some items that I feel like we could sell day in and day out. I will okay. probably order two, three, or four of those. Um, I'm not going to order heavy because, you know, we got to keep. You got to save our money for the next record store day. <laughs> Which is, you know, six, only months, six away. months away. Um, Basically, yeah, pretty much. So, um, we're not going to order heavy, but there's some things that we can get that are uh, that will sell. Obviously, like I said, the Pearl Jam is a good example. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'll be looking at leftovers lists this week and ordering some stuff up. Again, if there's any Duran Duran, I'll order it, but I know there isn't. So today's April 25th. No nuggets. Last sorry. Friday. Is November twenty fourth. Six months. Exactly six months. Well, from yesterday. Six, six months from a Saturday, whichever Saturday, it is. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Whoops, let me get back to my right screen here. There we go. Waiting for his records. Oh yeah, Brian. Cool. In the grab bag. Ha. Yeah, Speaking I forgot. Of I grab grabbed bags, a grab bag for you. We still have. We're almost out of them. We got four left. 
But I should preface this. Anybody, because it's our last show. If you buy a grab bag or any of our record store day records, I mean, you can't, I guess any, I don't know if I can do any of my record store day records. Just put it this way. If you buy more than like 30 bucks worth of record store day stuff, free shirt, grab bag. Maybe not that specific shirt, but. No, this, this specific shirt. Uh, grab bag price, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. This shirt, it's our record, right for record crawl. It's got Toad Hall Culture Shock 2022. It's an XL. I'll throw that in. Um, yeah, that Bossa Nova looked really, really cool. I think I, we're out I, of those. I think we are out of those. I'm I down to my last muddy waters. But it's got a ding corner. It's got a damaged corner. Thirty bucks, but it comes with a free shirt. There you go. <laughs> um, anybody looking for the uh, Muddy Waters Woodstock album? Grab bag, 20 bucks. The grab bag, actually, the new vinyl that's in these grab bags, I started with some better stuff. Um, they were a bunch of rare import Italian records. There was some, uh, and then there was some newer vinyl, like Mouse um, Mouse, Porcupine Tree, McCartney. So there was, it wasn't just, like, no-name stuff. I'm going off, off uh, line here, but... Any idea why mail didn't pick up yesterday? Oh, half of the mail got picked up. Oh, half of it did. Okay. The other I half was in. on the other side of the room, and the mail guy didn't see it. Oh. <clears throat> so. Okay. So. Pretty much everything that was bought on the phone is gone, and most of the stuff that was sold, like, Sunday. A lot of the orders that came in yesterday are will go out today. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, because I walked in, I'm like, oh, my gosh, there's... A lot there. I mean, obviously, now it's much Yeah, it was less, today. probably two thirds of it left okay. yesterday, but. Just curious about that. We got a seven inch mm -hmm. left. This is our only, one and only seven inch left. Really? This to, is? So, this is the Larry Mullins, Mike Watts. Always, I think ever since I've been involved in the record store day here at the store, they've always had a. Yes, seven they've always inch. released a seven oh. inch every time. That's interesting. <clears throat> what do we got on it? Ten. Ten dollars. Ten bucks. If you buy it, it comes with a free shirt. Why not? There you go. Tried finding one RSD records, no luck. Which one were you trying to find with no luck? I'll let you know if it's if we have it or not. Mm. I know our website crashed again. It did? Well, I mean, set, you know, Sunday morning. Oh, from orders trying to from, come in? Yeah, order. I know, it was nuts. Um... We got past it. Orders are at the website's oh, back up. The Maya Hawk. Yeah, we didn't have uh, too we many of those. One, one of them, I think. One or two. Yeah, they went yeah. right away on Saturday. They sure did. And that was interesting. So she's what, Ethan Hawk's daughter and who else's daughter? Uh, I'm not familiar. Yeah. Maya Hawk parents. I know our people out there will know because they're smart. <coughs> you guys are fast. Yeah. Oh, Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawk. Oh, cool. Oh, hang on, you're getting a little Well, I need to I'm going to be crate. holding this stack up for a little need bit. need to get an empty crate. <laughs> All Go right. Back to my YouTube tab here. <clears throat> Doctor Who soundtrack. We still got one of these. 43 bucks. Kind of surprised these didn't sell out because usually they sell out. This is an RSD UK release as well. Pretty no, cool. It, no, that was a regular. Oh, I thought that was one of the ones that was actually on the U.S. list as well. <laughs> Could be mistaken. What do you have here? The dismemberment plan. Although we've we've been selling these online. How much is this one? This is uh thirty six dollars. This is my last John Elefante, who is the former vocalist for Kansas on Purple Vinyl. Thirty six bucks. Limited Run Vinyl is the actually the label. Huh. It's kind of interesting. Kind of cool. Purple Vinyl. Right, we've got uh, Enslaved <clears throat> left. Um, I'm not sure. Forty-two dollars on that one. If you want any dibs on these guys, please let us know. Yeah, I have my paper and pencil ready. We're, here. we're ready. I'm really surprised this Flaming Gala record didn't sell. The only thing I'm wondering is if there were any orders for RSD stuff that hasn't been pulled yet. I'm looking right now. So. No, we'll ship the grab bag. We'll ship it. Our ship, shipping is what seven dollars flat rate. Yeah. So yeah, we can do a. Uh, we can. Uh, Call us. We'll throw the grab bag in, and uh, we'll get you set up. We do have 
Um, I'll get you a shirt, too. We do have an order for the Shirley Scott and the Ted Nugent. Oh, we have extras of those. Okay. Mm. All right, so Flaming Gala has Bon Scott of ACDC on it. Really? This is right there. But I think no one knew about I it. I did not know that. As many, Of course, when I'm looking at these things three weeks prior, I don't know. I know, we're in a hurry, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's a 72 Australian prog site legends with Bon Scott on it. It's 38 bucks, which is not outrageously priced. But I think no one over here knows who Flaming Gala is. I don't know who Flaming Gala is. No. So maybe that's why we still have it. This is our last copy. The Bon Scott's on it. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Train Your Dragon. Yeah. We're probably out of those, huh? I think we did sell out of Train Your Dragon. Justin, you're always doing something, man. It must be nice to be young because you can do that stuff when you're young. <laughs> uh, Ed Edgar Froze, Freeze, Phrase, however you want to say it. Um, $41. Frozy? Fro Frozy? <clears throat> He's from Tangerine Dream. Look at that colored vinyl. Okay, too. so Jayhawk. Let me write. I'm writing your stuff down. So. Jayhawk's taking uh, Shirley Scott, a grab bag, and a free shirt. Thanks so much, Jayhawk. <clears throat> I'll give you this one. It seems big. I don't know what. Obviously, I, I don't even remember what's in I'm it surprised is. we have any of those left. I mean, of the Shirley Scotts. I kind of am too. Because those everything that label sells. Right. Usually goes. Fleetwood Mac Albatross uh, EP for twenty one dollars. So I thought this was literally a jigsaw puzzle when I ordered it. Oh, no, it's, it's called Jigsaw Puzzle, puzzle Blues. Blues. So I was like, "Who's gonna buy a record with a jigsaw puzzle?" I've seen <coughs> Stranger Things happen. <coughs> So, I was okay, wrong, Justin, luckily. Justin, see ya. Talk to you later. Thanks for everything, man. Thanks, Justin. Great customer. I'll still be doing YouTube videos, guys. It just won't be the morning show. Right. So, I'm not going away entirely. Flash of the Dynamics. Psych, funk, soul scenes from the 70s. And craft, so you know it's going to be a good... Uh, yeah, craft records. Copy. 31 bucks. Oh, yeah, London Grammar. We only got one or two of those in. We didn't have many. Um, what do you got there? Foles. You want, you want to take Foles? Foles. Life is Dub, $32. Life is Dub. Life is Dub. And then we have oh, Frankie and the... Witch Fingers. Witch Fingers Zam, Z-A-M. I think that's what it's called. I think this was, it, it is Z-A-M, but I yeah. thought it was 2 a.m. No, it's A.M. It's A.M. How much is that, baby? $47. Cool uh, cover. Flexi 7-inch and a poster. And it's two LPs for $47. Bucks. Whoa. That's a lot of stuff. So you get a 7... The Flexi disc, disc is a 7-inch and a yes. poster? Yes, and a poster and two, and LPs. two LPs. Holy Color. cow. That's what I'd call it. Jose Gonzalez. Um... Local Valley Remixes. I love the cover on this. Uh, $30. <clears throat> Uh-oh, Ray says Jazz Fest is starting Friday. Got a load up on sunscreen. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that yet. No, and I don't hate either because everybody from here is going to be on vacation the next couple weeks. So I'm, I'm probably not going to make it to Jazz Fest this year or next year. As long as I work here, I'll probably never make it to Jazz Fest. You'll make it to Jazz Fest. So let us know you want to go and take some time off. Yeah, well. We'll make sure you my get first, off. My, my first <clears throat> trip is probably going to be Paris, so. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Yeah, probably within, I don't, yeah, probably in a year or two. Cool. Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2 soundtrack. Gatefold. Colored vinyl with lander notes from Paul Zaza. Kind of surprised these didn't sell out. I know. Horror movie soundtrack? You'd think these would be out the door. <clears throat> is it all, is it instrumental? Is 41 it, bucks. I'm not sure if it's instrumental or what look the deal at the, with that one is. Look at the imagery on the back of that God the zombie looking thing. Oh, it's so cool. I I'd love to morning. see it open. Yeah, we got one of those, one or two of those left, 41 bucks. Blind Man, another, um... Morricone? Sound, no, 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 no. it's a Stelvio Cipriani, <coughs> another soundtrack from a movie. I'm not sure what, what year this movie. Looks like this was originally released in 2016. 
So this is a record store day release? Yes, we sold out of Eric Carr's. We had the biggest line that we've ever had for record store day. Yeah, this. too bad we didn't have a counter to see how many people we actually had. I know. That would have been interesting. There had to be 100 people at least. At least. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. Porky Brian Tree's gone. Seeker Ross is gone. Summer Rental's gone. Sorry. <clears throat> I do have come gently down the stream. Only This is the last one left. RSD. Is it 2LP? Single LP? No. 41 bucks. Willie Dixon, Catalyst. Um, $31. 1973, long out of print on vinyl until now. I don't believe he's blues. Yeah, I, I would think, say so. Yeah, Willie Dixon mm -hmm. blues, yeah. Um, clear with yellow splatter. 31 bucks. Oh, the John, the John Doe folk trio? The last one. I sold one Is last it? night. Yeah, we're down to the last copy. Uh, six, it's called Six Fables. Uh, dosing this Dylan. It's twenty-seven dollars. Oh, it's a dosing Bob Dylan. Yeah, that's cool. It says it right on front there. Guys, I went out one morning. I dreamed I saw Saint Augustine down south, never coming back. Huh. Twenty-seven bucks. Yeah, typically <clears throat> Taylor Swift. We talked about that at the beginning of the show. Really pulled in a lot of new people. A lot of new people. So di diabolic liar and thief. Two LPs in this. Last one. The last one at forty uh forty two dollars. Uh the Pearl Jam was probably the next biggest seller because we had the most of those. And I can still get them. I'll probably order some more from the store. That was probably the second biggest seller. The 1975 was probably It was up there in the top five. But we didn't have We had a lot of people of ask for it. That the problem so is if there we would have had yeah. another twenty, it would have definitely been way up there. Hawkwind, The Iron Dream, 1977, 36 bucks, Abbey Road Studios. Another one of the, I think this is a, a Census of Perry, Niente de Delay. More a Cohen soundtrack. Yeah. $41. <clears throat> Our last Madhouse Records 30th Anniversary Collection, 26 bucks. Good price. Um. <clears throat> the um, France Volume... Eight, yes, volume eight, pop, 60s and 70s. So the psych, psych or psyche volume eight. Um, it's like France. $23. We sold all our France volume sevens mm -hmm. this week. Someone. Oh, really? Uh, all online. Boom, 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 boom. They all sold. Oh, maybe they're like, I need to get that because I want number eight and I can't yep. have number eight without number seven, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool record. We listened to it in store last year. I really oh, I don't even it. remember it. <clears throat> yeah, the Morricone soundtracks are always amazing. And I've got. One or two at home, I think. So it's my last Dave in the Blues Express. Which is really Fred Davis. Fred Davis. They only made 1500 Coal Mine Records. Uh, 27 bucks. I swear somebody asked for this and I thought we were out of it. Half Japanese, the band that would be king. Um, the last one of those. $3. And of course, I'm sure you all know that after Record Store Day, we do find titles like yeah. scattered throughout the store that... You're like, inventory shows we have three of these, and there's only one in the rack. Yeah, we you find know, them in your weird Then spots. you go around the store, and it's like, hmm, this is where the other two are. Last Born Heller, 33 bucks, record store day. Only one left. This is the one that surprises me that it didn't sell more was the Post Malone. Yeah, I sold another one over last night, but we got a few Did left. Okay. They're only 18, 18 bucks. 18 bucks. Yes, we had a very successful day. So we're, we're really happy about that as well. So we're, <clears throat> we're really thankful that it was insane. I yeah. couldn't believe it. It was so interesting, so fun. Uh, Beauty Pill describes things as they are. Um, $34. It's about like 2 LP, but it's so, oh, it's got a, no, it is 2 LPs. A, one, yeah, 2 LPs. Oh my God, it feels like more than one. <laughs> My last Frank Black Live. 35 bucks, single LP. <clears throat> yeah, Derek. Orange vinyl. I think we only had two or three of Pose, or maybe four at Tops, and that, they went really fast. Who do I have? Oh, the Baker Gerbitz Army. Ginger Baker. And Cream. $31. On orange, yellow blob vinyl. Oh, yeah. Lava <clears throat> Lap yellow Ooh, that's a good vinyl. Agnostic Front, 
um, United Blood. This is a 19 song expanded edition. Nice price point here, 26 bucks. All right, Jayhawks hot, add Post Malone to the stack. Oh, all mm -hmm. righty, let me uh, add Post Malone here. Give us a call after the show. Give okay. us, like, when we end the show, give us like 10 minutes and then you can call in. Well, maybe 15. Yeah, something like that. You know, because I gotta have a potty break after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't need. <laughs> and then we gotta, then we have to order lunch. And then we're ready. Then we're ready. Uh, the Addicts. Uh, the Fifth Overture, another one on yellow vinyl. Must be the color this year. $26. Spinning Gold. <clears throat> Music from the motion picture soundtrack. This one, I might actually take home. It looks like a really cool one now. Midnight it's, Train to Georgia, Ain't No Sunshine, One Took Over the Line. It's got some good songs It's your it. thing. Cherry I don't even remember top. the movie. I don't either, but, but I like all the people covering all these cool bad girls. Bad girls. Rock and roll night. Give what? up the funk. Oh, now that's what I call Goldfinger. Twenty nine bucks. <laughs> Good nice. Achilles. <clears throat> Music from the motion picture Achilles Escape. I think it's two LPs. Thirty five dollars. And so this has tracks by Bob Marley, Trent Reznor, The Gladiators. This is another one that I'm surprised we still have. Derek says there's no dong records this year. Yeah, there I don't know. There are dong records. I wish there were, because that was a lot of fun. <laughs> New York Noise is gone. Oh, hang on. We got, I got stuff popping up here. Blur sound. The Blur record. I'm only down to two of them. I like how they made it look like an old plate yeah. ad <clears throat> with a number. But then they did like an ad on the back, too. I wonder if there's no mailing address for this cutout, so I hope nobody really tries to do it. That's great. Just a couple of those left. 41 bucks is what I got on them. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, the Bardo Pond. Last one of those. Peel Sessions. Um, 30, $33. Last chance. Jerry Harrison. Hopefully you're seeing Talking these. Talking heads. They see that I not, don't have a lot of room in here, so maybe, Let's it over maybe I wasn't showing the covers too well. Uh, Jerry Harrison, two LPs. In $36. The Cow Sills. Yes, this is a new Cow Sills record. It is. First record in, uh, I don't know how many decades. It is on Nuclear, uh, no, it's on Green Vinyl, $33. And this is where the Partridge family kind of came about because of the Cow Sills, I believe. The, the, I think that's... You're right. Something with the Cowsills yes. and the Partridge family yes. thing. The blur interior has forms for the plate as well. Oh, the interior mm -hmm. does too? That's, <laughs> cool. That's funny. Uh, a Rouge F. Tab, live in <coughs> London. There's uh, two songs on each side. $18. Last copy. I'll give you Jerry here too. Um, David Byrne, The Catherine Wheel. Two LPs. Talking heads, baby. $36. Exclusive 2LP. First time on vinyl. Oh, wow. 73 minutes of music. So, I mean, you're talking only 50 cents a minute. Roughly. There you go. Nick's doing the math today. <clears throat> it's cheap. Uh, Chief Keith, Mansion Music. Chief Keith, we always 26. have Chief Keith left over. We put it in the wrap bin and it always sells out. Yeah. I don't know if the Chief Key fans don't know about Record Store Day. Oh. I don't think they do. Because oh. every time we sell out of it, and every time oh. it's two weeks later. If you know any Chief Key fans <clears throat> out there, let them know. We've got some. James Cotton, last copy. Translucent Blue Vinyl. That would probably be bucks. a really nice one to have, too. 28 bucks on that one? Yep. El Cuatro. Last copy. Displacement. <clears throat> oh, these are hand, looks like hand numbered on the back. Yep. Only 500 copies of this one. $22. I'll take it for you. All right. Captain Deepheart and the Magic Band. I'm going to do what I want to do. 2 LP, first time on vinyl. $41. <clears throat> Black Renaissance. I think this is our last copy of this, too. It's only two songs. But they're 23 minutes and 15 minutes long. Body, mind, and spirit. 
And if you read this, it's it's a soul jazz rare groove holy grail with the Pharaohs, Black Jazz Tribe, and Roy Ayers. Oh, Roy <clears throat> Ayers is on that? Yep. Oh, cool. Shirley Scott, so I'm going to pull this one for Jayhawk. Um, Queen Talk, Live at the Left Bank, $51. Do we have any other? We do have a couple left. Okay. Um, if you want them, I think they're on the left. I think we have a total of four, okay. three or four left. Okay. And, Stanley well, Turrentine's okay. wife. Oh, really? Yeah. So, Jayhawk, I'll put this one aside. For you? Okay, the Stair right Steps, here. Second Resurrection. Formerly the Five Stair Steps. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, obviously when they that? grew up. No, I just know that. Oh. Doesn't say it. They got rid of, they, obviously one of them's gone. So they had to just Looks call like themselves it. the Stair Steps. Oh. They rebranded. <laughs> Gold Vinyl, 29 bucks. Is that on Black Horse? Dark Horse Records, yeah. Blitz Vega. Last copy. Strong Forever. $24. This oh. has been selling. This one. <clears throat> it didn't do very good on Saturday. Who was? But it's been selling since. Somebody was talking about this the other day. The Hill Blaine psychedelic percussion. Um, oh, you know what? This might be the one I told Eddie B about because he's a drummer. Um, $32 on that one. Anything on Jackpot Records. Remember last time it was the, uh, oh, we sold a ton of them. It was the. Young Holt Unlimited does oh, he was, super fun. Oh, he, that one was on Jack. <clears throat> yes. Remember that. So I really enjoy all the records that come out on that label. They do a lot of kooky, psychedelic, funk, um, just a lot of fun, different stuff. This is interesting because this is the most recorded drummer in music history on his most intriguing record. An instrumental 1967 psychedelic jazz recording featuring a massive array of percussion instruments, toys, and electronics. The second record to ever feature the Moog Modular Synthesizer. Ooh. There you have it. There's, there's, there's I'm going to take a, take a sip here. Yeah. Got to wet my whistle. Last copy of Noisy Fast Forward to Vinyl. 21 bucks. Single LP. And here's the nude. <clears throat> the Nugent Free for All Studio Rarities and Alternate Takes. $42. Single LP. And we do have an online order for that if we don't have any more. Great White Vinyl. 4,000 copies on Great White. I think this might be my last one. Then. Did you grab any RSD titles for yourself? I did not get the Nina Picture Disc. I did get the Surfing, um, the Great Lakes Surfing. Oh, God, what was it? It was on. Um, it's a compilation of surf, uh, different surf songs. I have not opened it yet or listened to I it. I have not taken any records for myself, but I'm looking at that Spinning Gold, the Vitamin String Quartet Death Cab, and maybe that Hellboy. <clears throat> that would be a cool one to have. Those are the three I'm looking at. What record do you guys want to most take home? Well, my, my one that I wanted to take home was for myself surf. was that surf, the Great Lake Surf and Music. So I did get that. Like I said, I haven't opened it yet. Sunday, yeah. I'm going to listen to that whole thing today and see if I want it. <laughs> and Nico, live at the Library Theater 80. This is $31. Nine did you deals. Did you pick up the Surf Sound Comp Ray? I, I picked it up, but I don't, I didn't open it yet. Nightingales, out of true, 41 bucks, 2 LP set. <clears throat> I think it was the last copy of that, too. Nectorum offered the light. How much is it? $34. $34. Phil Oaks, the best and the rest. 2LP. Looks like uh, there's some live stuff on side four. 2LPs, Gatefold Sleeve, 46 bucks. I think it's the last copy, Ooh, too. Oh, I forgot I had the crate right A lot right of there. last copies. I'm not a lot. One on a lot of stuff, guys. I'm off. <clears throat> This was a hard one to. So I can't remember. Pete or something. Yeah, I can't. Don't remember the title. Oh, it's F L S D E P. They just have it written really weird. Um, Thirty-two dollars. Charlie Parker Afro Cubop recordings. That would probably be kind of interesting. Fifty-one too. bucks, two LP set. Charlie Parker. <laughs> 
Got a couple of those left. I Somebody, I think, <clears throat> had asked for this when they were watching the show um, Saturday, so a copy has been found. Galt McDermott. Um, Woman is Sweeter. It's original soundtrack for Martine's movie. It is $28. Yeah, we sold out of that jazz dispensary really, really People fast. Love those. I didn't get I did get a copy last year, but not this year. The most I think overpriced record is the Operation Mindcrime 2 Queensryche soundtrack or soundtrack. <laughs> Queensryche record. <laughs> 70 bucks. I think if this was a little cheaper, they would, would all be gone. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, I don't make the prices. Friday music is known for being a little on the high side. I bet it's on colored vinyl though. No oh, problem. Then we have Gong, live in Lyon, uh, December 19th, 1972. Oh, this is a 3LP. I didn't realize it was 3LP. Colored. Um, $46. No, it's got these three different colors right up here. Wow, that's a good price. <coughs> the special is 10-inch by a last 10-inch. 19 bucks. I can't stand it. In Friday night, Saturday morning. Uh, the Verlaine's Bird Dog. Bird dog. At $40. Under Oath, Digital Ghost. Another one of my favorite bands. 25 bucks on Sangria Vinyl. Ooh. These did end up selling pretty good online. We but have they, just one or two left. Um, <coughs> the Rockfords. Not from Rockford, Illinois. No, don't unfortunately. Know really where they're from. I didn't do a lot of research on it. So two LPs on this. It is um, $47. It's a metallic red pressing limited to 2,200 copies. It says final debut. Frank says that Catherine Wheel is fantastic if you're a Talking Heads fan. Oh, there you go. This cool. <clears throat> the Residents present our finest flowers, $28. Residents record's hard to find. And uh, Rich Kids, uh, Ghosts of Princes and Towers. $23. How about Slum Village? Trinity, last copy. First time on vinyl in 20 years, press on double colored vinyl. J. Della, aka JD. 37 bucks. The Selectors, live at the NEC 1980. It's a limited edition clear vinyl at $31. Sun. 45 bucks, 2LP, Sun and Boris. Lava red vinyl. You're in a slow metal. Slow metal? You know what that's about. <clears throat> um, the words. sound carrier is Celeste. 2LPs. $43. Suicide, a way of life, rarities. 25 bucks. It's got a bunch of live stuff. Live in Paris. And an early studio version. And it's only 25 bucks. Um, the, oh, Kai Tempest. What's this one called here? Yeah, last nice, copy too. Nice idea. It is 30, $38. TV Mania. Bored with Prozac and the internet? Is Duran Duran's Nick Rhodes and Warren Cucurullo from uh, Frank Zappa's band. Also, I think was in Naked Eyes as well. But, uh, yeah, if you're a Duran Duran fan, which I know there's a ton of them out there, mm -hmm. Warren Cucurullo, TV Mania, limited edition opaque white vinyl with a booklet, 35 bucks. <clears throat> got Coco Taylor. I got What It Takes. It's only 25 bucks. I have Blue Singer. What's your Blue Singer? Blue Singer, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Best cover of this drop, The Twisted Electric Lettuce. Oh, here's a little... 21 bucks for the Twisted. Yeah, that one's... I can't believe that one. Better just hang so. on the wall for 21 bucks. I know. Bucks. I sent a picture of that to my son. He's like, oh, I didn't realize they put that one out. Or that they had that out. Yeah, I mean, you just frame that up. Plus, it's Twisted, so it's collectible. Yeah, so... There's the backstory on the... Uh, Cow sills. So, Screen Gems approached cow sills to portray themselves in a sitcom, but told their mother was to be Shirley Jones. 
And then Screen Jumps later hired Joan's stepson, David Cassidy, to join the TV show. Okay. <coughs> Derek Dibbs, TV Mania, but I got extras. <coughs> I got more than one. Derek, TV Mania. Derek. That's why we do this show, because we dig a little deeper now that we have a little bit of, well, now that we're relaxed. Right. And we're passed up. Uh-huh. <coughs> Put that on side. Ultra Magnetic MCs. Etched Vinyl Record Store Day. What is this? How much is there? It doesn't have a sticker off the sticker. I think it's 25 bucks. Oh. Who do I have? Oh, the one I can't read. Undeath. Undeath. <clears throat> Live from the Grave. Uh, $34. Vitamin String Quartet does Teth Cap for Cutie. One of the records that I'm going to listen to and see if I'm going to take home. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good songs on this. Expo, What Sarah Said, Sounds of Settling, Marching Bands, Manhattan, Soul Meets Body, Transatlanticism, The New Year. I might be taking one of these home. 27 bucks, Orange Crush Vinyl. Oh, uh, Ray, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. That's what I do with my shoes, too, you know. They stay in the trunk until the hubby's not home. No. I, he knows all my shoes. <laughs> Victoria Hallman. From Birmingham, Bur- Birmingham to Bakersfield. Oh, Coco Taylor bucks. played the Blake College Folk and Blues Fest. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. See, our people are so smart out there. Who's Purdue? Tonight, Longhorn, 2LP, $48. Ian Dior, nothing's ever good enough. Single LP, 39 bucks. I'm assuming it's hip hop rap. Anybody know? I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> oh, funky Chicken, Willie Henderson, and the Soul Explosions. This is one that I did do a little listen to before Record Store Day because I kind of thought maybe I wanted. It's not bad. It's definitely that '70s kind of. Uh, what do you want to call it? I don't even know how to, how to describe it. Kind of soulish funk type thing. But I, I liked it, but not enough to really think I wanted to buy it as, as a pick for record store day. So now maybe that everything's over and done, maybe I'll take a look at it. William Hooker, Shambhala, Thurston Moore, and Elliot Sharp are on this. ORG Music, who makes really good records. 36 bucks. Only 1500 of these were made. <clears throat> Jesus Jones, live in Chicago, 1990. I can't, can't believe we didn't sell out of these. Jesus Jones 90s stuff. I mean, that stuff is so hard to find. Live in Chicago. $43. I don't know. Live in Chicago 1990 plus 2LP set pressed on white vinyl. Can't believe they're still here. Kitty. <clears throat> Till the end. Until the end. I can't believe we still have that. 32 bucks. Single LP. It's on metallic silver vinyl. Um, Amethyst Kia, Pensive Pop. 17 bucks. It's also like a, cheap. It's an EP. Who's, uh... Yeah, four track EP, and B side is etched. The London Suede Demos. 34 bucks. It's on clear vinyl. Uh, demos for the debut album, first time ever. 140 gram clear. Oh, mm. uh, who do I have? Lazy. Mozzie, blah da da. Two LPs. Uh, $30 available for the first time on LP. And it is uh, limited to 2,500 copies worldwide. Old Dirty Bastard returned to 36 Chambers. I can't believe we have that laugh. You know, we started with a lot of them, though. We did have a lot of these. Yeah, we did. Two LP, double picture disc. They'll sell out. It's a classic rap album. Um, these will disappear eventually. 41 bucks. Yeah, our Beach House and Scott Weiland, they both were. Beach House took a little longer to sell. Um, Scott Weiland was one that we had a lot of requests for. And Seager Ross, we only had two of them. That would have been a great pick. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, Jayhawk saw, you see, saw him at this Kia. This was amazing. Saw her play this past weekend. Unbelievable. Madness. 
the old eighties band. Pretty cool. I thought you said the old ladies band. (laughs) Eighties. B sides from the next seven singles. 108 180 gram. The old uh, eighties or old ladies, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Metromini. Um Small World Special Edition. It is twenty seven dollars. Miles Electric Band or M E B thirty one bucks comes with an OB strip. <clears throat> Forever inspired by Miles. And look at all the people on this. Ron Carter, Stanley Clark, Miles Davis, Daryl Jones. I mean, this is all, all the way down. Yeah. Thirty one bucks. And Romeo Void. Last copy of that. Eleven unreleased tracks on opaque <coughs> galaxy blue vinyl. Twenty six dollars. Yeah. You know, I'm really going to miss living, uh, uh, you know, vicariously through everybody and all the concerts that you guys get to go to. I've got two coming up this summer. Mine is uh, uh, Kingfish. Okay. Chris Stone, Kingfish, Kingfish Ingram. Ingram. Get to go see him in, uh, I don't remember when, July or something. And then I got tickets for Diana Krall. Those are so some those good are ones. Two, two that I have uh, coming up so far. I don't, you know, I haven't, I don't think I have any tickets for much yet. I'll get there. Yeah. Maybe this week I'll start Well, there's Summerfest coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some good, and the big Harley Davidson. Um, I do want to go to that. Oh, so do I. I mean, Green Day, Social Some Fighters. Distortion. That's going to be fantastic. We might have to look yeah. at taking a road trip up there and for see. For sure. Yeah. If you saw any of the records, for the records that you liked, ToadHallOnline.com, I have a section for... RSD 2023 stuff. Go see what we got. We're going to re-upload these all, get the quantities all cleaned up, and then uh, you can buy them online. We're going to put them on eBay today. We hold them back. Well, so we that, hope that they'll go on eBay today. We hold them back so that you guys get first chance at them rather than just some random person on eBay. I'd rather support the people who view us and support us. On the Total Online website, obviously. Well, total, our website, our YouTube followers. <laughs> I even did a little whatnot stream last night. Uh, some of this stuff. So uh, thank you so much for for watching and oh, <clears throat> supporting us and yeah. everything. It's been it's been so fun meeting this community and being a part of it. And like like we said, we are not going away for good. We are just taking a summer break. Yeah, we're just taking a summer break of the show. I'll still do uh, new vinyl videos. I'll still do MoFi videos. I'll still do. You know, all my other videos. Yeah. We're just we're just uh, holding off on the morning show. And and you know, every once in a while maybe we'll do something special. Yep. Just pop in a special show or something. Probably not a live stream, but yeah. Something fun. Yeah, we'll figure something out because just with everybody being on vacations and being gone and I really don't do, have never done the morning show by myself. Yeah. So we're we're just gonna take a quick little break. So yeah, yeah we're gonna enjoy our summer. Thanks, Melinda. Thanks, Ray. You guys all have a great summer. I'll be around. I mean, and we're still going to be here. We're still you working. You can still get us on the telly. Yep. Still call us. Thanks so much for... I hope you guys had a great record store day. I know it was mm-hmm. good for us. 